The wheel is 264 feet, Jeff. Can you imagine it? I'm attempting to. I bet you can see for 100 miles at the top. We should make that our first priority. Whatever pleases you the most. You please me the most. You mean you are not weary of me after an entire day of marriage? I will never be weary of you. I shall hold you to that, my dear. <laughs> I think we've arrived. Isn't this grand? As advertised. Very nice. Let's check in. Are we the only ones here? I'm sure that was a mad dash first thing this morning to get to the fair. Try again. Well, this does not bode well for the level of service we're in store for. Everyone must be busy elsewhere. That's no way to run a business. Slow service. That means they're making sure everything is perfect. That's my Marie. Always finding that silver lining. My sincere apologies. Oh. For both startling you and for making you wait. My attention was needed elsewhere. I promise from here on out, it will be nothing but silver linings. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Please, sign in here. First time in Chicago, I'm going to hazard a guess and assume you're here to take in the exposition. The fair, yes, but that's not all. Today is a very special day for us. Oh, a honeymoon. How very, very lovely. <clears throat> Perhaps my wife, Mrs. Whitman, would like to sign. <laughs> yes, today's the beginning of our honeymoon. Congratulations. In that case, an upgrade is in order. The honeymoon suite it is. Oh, well, uh, are the rates that much higher? <laughs> I think nothing of it. The same rates as your regular room. The upgrade is on us. You're our first honeymooners. How kind. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Henry Howard Holmes. You have a lovely hotel, Mr. Holmes. Well, thank you very much. I designed and built most of it myself. You're an architect, then? Architect, designer, builder, doctor, artist. I'm a man of many interests. Impressive. Please, have a look around. We have sundries and gifts at the pharmacy counter. I'll take your luggage up to your room and ensure that everything is in order. Just make a note if you decide to purchase anything, and we will add it to your bill. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. We appreciate it. The pleasure is all mine. Oh, 
Pardon me, miss. Careful, you. My husband gets awfully cross with men who act fresh. Hmm. <laughs> he sounds like a ripe fellow. How's the marriage going? Lovely. Thanks for asking. Well, let's just head up. I'm sure the room is ready. See anything good over there at the jewelry counter? Anything fancy? Wouldn't you like to know? Wonder what's in here. I'm starting to think I've gone and married a thrill seeker. Ferris wheels, forbidden rooms. Are we looking for excitement? Perhaps. <sighs> Nothing but an unfinished room. See what happens when you chase a thrill? If this is you trying to get out of the Ferris wheel. I know you won't be denied. Wait, what's that? <gasps> Don't move. That was a thrill. You won't think it's thrilling if we're sleeping on the street after getting kicked out of here. Let's go. Welcome, newlyweds, to the honeymoon suite. <laughs> Thank you kindly, Mr. Holmes. Do enjoy your stay. If you'll excuse me, I have work to return to. I'm sure we'll see each other again soon. This place is fit for a king. Or my queen. Oh, you. Kiss this. Oh, that is not very wifely of you. Hey! Ah, bullseye! You asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be frightened? If you're smart. Mercy, okay, you win. Anything broken? Only my pride. How about a peace offering? Hmm. This feels like some sort of treacherous plot. Not at all. <laughs> I have a gift for you. Close your eyes and face the mirror. Aren't you clever and romantic? If I get a pillow to the face, I will sock you right in the kisser. <laughs> Is there a problem? No. Open your eyes. Oh, Jeff, it's lovely. I love it. Good. <laughs> Victory is mine. I'll let you have that bath now.
It's jammed shut. Maybe if we put a little weight into it? <sighs> Open sesame! <laughs> Thank you. Why don't you have a shave while I take a quick bath? Then we can reconvene. I know that word. It's French for something illicit. <laughs> Shush. Shave. I think I forgot to pack my razor and kit. I'm sure the pharmacy downstairs has them. Don't be too long in that bath. Don't you worry. What? Ah! My God. Marie! Is that you, darling? Jeff? Oh, are we playing another game? <laughs> okay, Mr. Sneaky. You can't sneak up on me, Mr. <gasps> Holmes. Hello, my What are dear. you doing in here? Jess! I don't think he can quite hear you. No! Ah! Ah! Get away from me! But I'm not finished yet. I said get... Don't fight it. Will only hurt more if you do. Yourself, sir. It would seem your wife has had an accident. Is there a problem, sir?
place for everything. Everything in its place. Well, look at this. Oh, it's wonderful. Only the best for you, my dear. Mother would simply die. It's so I say, opulent. Uh, good man, do you work here? Hello. Welcome to the World's Fair Hotel. Oh. Have you been waiting long? Welcome to my repository, a vast collection of stories that are dark, frightening, horrific. I am the curator. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. The way you react, the decisions you make, will affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices. And sometimes it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any 
significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? The game is afoot. I will be watching. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Ticket of Hansen. And, uh, and, uh, and yeah, it's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I I'm working on it. I. I'm Mark, I study photography at UCLA. Um, at a great time. Really want to get back into some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key grip and lighting tech for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like, personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. Uh, I've been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was. Hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, Your Honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind, following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried, as requested, under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. Lonnet Entertainment. Charles Lonnet, please. Speaking, Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. 
I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course. We're in. I'll get them there, I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right, let's load up, guys. I got it. I'm good. <clears throat> Sorry. Are you? I mean, this is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave it behind if you're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Woohoo. Hooray. This is going to be great, guys. Do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? You know what this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka? Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault, because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Was may share information that could affect you know about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do it. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is gonna be great. You said that in Topeka. Dude is so rich, shouldn't he have servants or something? This guy gonna help? <clears throat> no, really, I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it, jackass. Okay. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There, from on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. Uh, we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse.
Look, there's our ride. Come on, we better get back. That him? I don't know. We just had the one call. How did he know what our show was about in the first place? Uh, actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Demet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark? Erin, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that... Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No, of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe. But we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt. So please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here. God. Uh, this way. Don't worry about your bags. I'll make sure they're brought. I'm not exactly dressed for a hike, Mr. Dumet. It's just a short walk. It won't take long. You're right. He takes his security very seriously. I wonder what he's afraid will get in. Maybe you should be asking what he's trying not to let out. Jamie. Just saying. You watch too many horror movies. He values his privacy. We've known that right from the start. We've known that for about two hours. Just go. Mark, get your camera. I want to grab a quick intro from here. I need some shots leading up to the house. Don't need the whole journey. Kate, talking to camera, then I'll direct you from there, OK? No photos. No recording of me at all. Is that clear? I'm a very private person. Don't worry, Mr. Dumet. Discretion is Lonnet Entertainment's motto. You want the usual intro stuff, Charlie? Please. The light is good. I'm ready to go, Aaron. It sounds clear. OK, let's go for a take then. Is Kate's face ready? Bitch, I'm always camera ready. Stop trying to make me like you. Rolling. Speed. And action. I've just arrived on the private island which claims to have genuine artifacts from H.H. H. Holmes' reign of terror. I'm heading to the house right now. Perfect, Kate. Now turn to face the house and Start to walk. OK, that's enough. And cut. We really do need to get going. Anything you say, Mr. Dumet? This way. You'll steal some more shots, right? Obviously. Mr. Dumet is being really restrictive. I noticed. I want you to get a look around without him knowing. A man is entitled to his privacy. He's cagey. I want to know what he's trying to hide. 
what do you want to do? What you did that time with those cops in Glendale. Seriously? Ah! Oh, ow! Oh, oh my! Damn it! What happened? You okay? Oh. Did you get your baby ego again? We should get her up to the hotel. Oh my! I can barely move it. Jamie, stay with her. Why me? Because you know first aid. Remember how you patched her up? In Glendale? Oh, right. OK. We'll find some ice and a bandage and come back. You have that at the hotel? Yes, sure. Then let's go. What is going on? Come on. I'll clue you in later. Been taking acting classes again? Yeah, yeah. What's Charlie want? A better lay of the land. And we're the scouts because? I'm charming, and you can hotwire your way past security. Come on. What's through here? Hear that? So much better. I guess I just needed to rest it for a minute. I think I'm okay. They found a shortcut up the hill. I really need you to stay where I say. You got it, Mr. Dumet. We're all here now. Let's head on. Everyone stay under the watchful eye of Mr. Dumet, please. Kate. What do you think? A summer camp from hell. Whatever. We're gonna find out what's up his sleeve before too long. Don't worry about that. Coming or what? Uh-huh. You afraid of heights? Maybe. Yes. We're all gonna die! Just go. <laughs> oh my god, relax, Mark. Oh, that's serious drop. You good? Oh, man. You can do it. Eyes forward. Don't look down. I got it. It's fine. Is it, though? I shouldn't have looked. It's just water down there. You can swim. Besides, the bridge looks dependable. Ish. Come on. I'll help. That's it. Look. It's fine. I'm not looking. <laughs> Don't look down. Yeah. <laughs> See? Not so bad. Thank you. You always knew how to get me through the shit, didn't you? We should catch up to Mr. Dumet. Where is everyone? Apologies, uh, they're all city folk. Come on, let's go. We're losing the day, people.
This, wow. Mr. Dumet, this place is magnificent. Yeah. Maybe this won't be a waste of a weekend. Hello. Wonder who you are. What are you doing? I I saw a little girl. Up there. Maybe it's your one fan. And now she's lost forever. You are such a dick. Everything in here is fragile. Please be careful. Man, this is brilliant. Whoa. Look at this. It's amazing. This is intense. Would you all mind signing in at the desk, please? Uh, this isn't everything. I'm sure the rest is almost here. I I'll make sure it gets to your rooms. Kate's makeup case is slowing it down. Erin, cigarettes. Blue backpack. Settle in, and I'll meet you all at dinner. At eight. Mr. Dumas, I cannot say thank you enough times. This is truly fantastic. I told you all this was a good plan, didn't I? <laughs> I told you. Busy, busy, busy. You've been out in a battle day, and I have to sit here worrying. Gone all day, and not a word from you. Sorry. You're jumpy. Oh my god. I think I peed a little. How did you not hear me coming? I was... I don't think we're the only ones here. Kate saw a little girl looking out a window at us when we were outside. That's who I saw. A little girl. Mr. Demet probably has family, his staff, maybe friends. Who knows? That said, this place does give me the willies. It's, um, it's unique. Are you singing? Oh, yeah, that's my being scared song. This is my don't be scared song. Sing it and I won't be scared long. <laughs> Doesn't really work. I bet. 181. Uh, I think I'm around the corner. 183? This is me. Okay. Okay. Good luck out there. Don't get lost. Scream if you need me for anything. Thanks. I got you. Nothing to be scared of. Actually, hey. Yeah? Why don't you hang a second while I unpack, then I can help you find your room? Something about this place makes me want to use the buddy system. Yes, thanks. I'd end up lost, probably. It's, it's just a haul, dude. And here we are. Well, it's, um, cozy? Mmm, cozy is fun. If we have to double up like last time, we've married by morning. You talk in your sleep. Not sure I ever told you that. Sure. 
What did I say? Actually, it was just a bunch of incoherent swearing. Oh, I was awake. I was reading Kate's social media posts. Ugh, that bitch. Okay, don't hate me, but she's been kind of nice to me. I mean, I think she's more upset about Mark than she lets on. Lies. She's a robot. Uh, where's the bathroom? Wait, what? Old school. Ah, uh, gross school? What if I have to pee in the middle of the night? Am I gonna walk in on Charlie sitting on the pot? Guess that means there's no mini bar either. Huh? Shows where you know. What is that? Wine, genius. Oh, I feel like if we start drinking, Charlie will find out and lecture me and make me feel like an asshole again. Yeah, he does that. But we're not on the clock. Not until we're rigging to shoot. Which is hard to do drunk. <laughs> I'm not suggesting we get full on hammered before we work. Why are you doing that? I'm thirsty. Also, you're cute when you're worked up. I don't, cute? You think I'm cute? Hmm? Oh. You're so clumsy. What would Charlie say? Ugh, I know. Where'd it go? Uh, it's uh, all the way against the wall. See it? You okay? <coughs> Shit. You trying to scare me now? <coughs> no. Revenge? Because, good job. <sighs> you sure you're okay? Because... Yeah, maybe me scaring you didn't help, did it? No. But seriously, it's not your fault. I just, I... I try to pretend like it isn't a thing, you know? Like, I don't want to be depending on an inhaler. I try to mind over matter it, but... Dust and allergies and... I just need to be more careful. You sure? Sure. I'm sure. So, uh, yeah, cozy. <laughs> you gonna try that? And now you're poisoned. It's not that bad. You're not lying? It's piquant, decent vintage. Sure. I'm getting oaky undertones. A hint of citrus. Oh. And I want to say a strong, healthy amount of moldy sweat dots. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I hate you. You are such a liar. Oh, sorry. I thought you meant the thinking you were cute thing. Really? Um, if my cheeks are red, it's from this wine, not because I am bashful. I swear, really. Sorry, didn't mean to make you feel weird. I, uh, yeah, it's just, we work together and Charlie is always on me about being more professional and- I get it. No, I mean, I, I'm not saying I don't appreciate it. Erin. Or that I don't think you're cute, too. It's just, um... Oh, oh God, um, sorry. What? No, it, it's fine. I thought you, uh, I'm an idiot. I mean, I thought I was being a little flirty, but I you can't just... believe I just did that. <sighs> Who is that?
enjoying yourself out here like some sort of pervert? Sorry, did I uh, interrupt something here? No, we're just talking shop. We're worried about the power grid handling all of our gear. I don't care what you guys are doing. Then why are you lurking? I can't find my room and I need a fucking cigarette. <laughs> These funny shapes are numbers. They go up and down in order. Thank you, I've just been down there. Look, give me 10, then we should get a rough plan for getting our first shot. We have all evening. Can't we plan after dinner? I'd like to chill for a minute after the trek getting here. I want to be shooting after dinner. You've got 10 minutes. Okay, we'll be down in a few then. Oh, Erin, I checked my blue bag. No cigarettes. That's where I put them. Come and show me. Maybe one of us is colorblind and doesn't know what a blue bag is. <sighs> Talk more later? Um, yeah, sure. If we have time after shooting, maybe. Good luck finding your rooms. Where the hell are they going? Well? I'm looking. Oh, Kate wanted you to have this. Breaking down walls, navigating the maze of anxiety. Are you fucking kidding me? I think she thought it might help with your stress, or... Absolutely not. I'm not stressed, okay? Do I look fucking stressed? Uh... That was rhetorical. Well, your cards came out nice enough. Oh, yeah. Embossing makes a huge difference. You old guys love business cards. <laughs> old school. You old school guys. I also put it on heavy stock and did the logo in foil. Damn. I should have had one ready for Mr. Dumet. Did you find them? I... no. I swear I put them in here. I don't understand. <sighs> Look, stop tearing around in there like a maniac. Be organized about it. Methodical. Blue bag, front pocket. I made a specific mental note of it. They're gone, Charlie. Gone? Just like that? Are you saying somebody took them? I, I don't... Actually, I can see Kate doing that. Or Jamie. I'm sorry. It's fine, let's just get on with things. This place is massive. Surely there is a pack of cigarettes in here somewhere. Even if they're ancient. You need them that bad? There was a bar off the lobby. There must be cigarettes in the bar, right? I mean, technically it's not legal to smoke in bars, so. Come on, we're checking. If you find them first, all will be forgiven. Why don't I go check for a gift shop or something? I've already had one asthma attack today, and this dust farm is exactly what I don't need. A gift shop might have cigarettes. Exactly. Had a girl. An animatronic. Ha! That's what amazing. What will it be, Mr. Dumet, sir? 
I'll have a packet of cigarettes, please. A packet of cigarettes, please. Hello? Hello? A packet of smokes. I figured it was too good to be true. Never mind. Thank you, Robo Bowman. Certainly, sir. Whatever you wish. <laughs> no fucking way. Thank you very much, my mechanical friend. Much appreciated. Yes! <laughs> yes! <sighs> of course it wants exact change. Damn it! Yes! Come to daddy. Oi! Oi! <sighs> Life would be so much easier with that in my jacket pocket. Oh, yes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Ha! What? No, come on, you piece of shit. Don't do this to me. Antique rubbish. Give them to me! Give me my cigarettes! Right, you. That's it. I'm gonna go and get my key grip, and they are gonna kick the shit out of you. Hey, Charlie. Yeah, I'm still in the bar. I think it's dinner time. We should get everyone else. Okay, I'm coming. And I'm coming back for you with a fucking pry bar. Are you alone in there? Who's that behind the bar? What? Hey, I had a thought on an intro segment. You want to shoot now? Yeah, if we get it shot and in the bank, maybe Charlie will stop rewriting everything I come up with. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. What? Nothing. Just give me a sec, and I'll be good to go. I'm supposed to buy nothing is eating away at you? Yes. How many times have you cleaned that lens? I'm just prepping my gear. Really? Yeah. Always focusing on the detail, Mark. What about taking a huge risk and just do something? I watched you fuss for a whole week before you turned down that job offer, all because you had to take one extra train to get there. The job wasn't the right move. The train thing confirmed it. Flimsy. I don't buy it. You don't have to buy it. Come on, let's just shoot this. Let's use natural light so we can do it alone. Didn't the lobby have skylight? I don't remember. I just want to look decent. You look good in any light. I'm not worried. Are you trying to butter me up? Yes. Is it working? Marginally. <laughs> I'll take it. Mark, why are you letting them all think I broke up with you? I feel like if Jamie knew the truth, she might back off. I mean, they all just assumed. I can't decide if that's sweet or selfish, or both. Before we... Look, can I say something? We agreed that we're sticking to just the job. Right. Which is why you can't just roll up and drive by psychoanalyze me. I... Okay. You're right. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. We don't need to rehash stuff. Let's just work. No, you're right. I, um... Uh... You're right. We agreed. I'm sorry. Look, let's go find some light and get started. 
Thanks for doing this. You're only asking me because your arms are too short for a good selfie angle. My arms are not short. <laughs> Whoa. Just come on. It's not that high. My vertigo is saying otherwise. Something I can help you with? You're staring. What? No, uh, sorry. Check this out. It's his hat. Who? H. H. Holmes. <laughs> Fuck! You okay? No! I just... This fucking thing popped out of nowhere. <laughs> See? What is it? Some kind of animatronic? Yeah, a fucked up looking one. <sighs> It can't hurt you. It scared you. It scared you twice. Hey, Charlie, it's eight. Dinner time. Damn it. We didn't get anything. There's still time. Come on, let's not keep Charlie waiting or we'll never hear the end of it. Hey, be civil with Charlie. He's the one who chose to be uncivil blowing up on me when all I did was my job. I'm the one doing the talking on camera, not him. Come on, you came in hot on him and you know it. Not that you're wrong, but you know he meets anger with more anger. This is on him, Mark, not me. I know Charlie can be a pain in the ass. Did you see his notes? Yeah, I saw them. I can't say half the shit he writes. It may look good on the page, but there's more to it. I'm trying to help, and he throws it back in my face. Because you... Because he thinks you're just trying to get content for your showreel. What if I was? That's how directors have to be. It's their job. They have a vision. Ego has to play into it a little bit. That's why I just shut up and point the camera. That doesn't mean he has to be an asshole. No, but imagine if you were in his shoes, 40-something, still waiting for your big break. Kate, this show is the closest he'll ever have to success. I guess. Doesn't matter. One way or another, I am moving on from Lana Entertainment. Good for you. That's... That's definitely the right call for where your career is going. That... Sounded very sincere. Because it is. Charlie would replace us in a second if he wouldn't be inconveniencing himself. He's using us. I deserve better than this. So do you. We all do. What a stunning performance. You should give up news and be an actress. I was quite moved by all that. Fucking Oscar worthy. You don't know what we were talking about. I heard enough, thank you. I know what betrayal sounds like. I'm particularly disappointed in you, Mark. Whatever your future plans may be, right now, you work for Lonit Entertainment. And Lonit Entertainment employees are meeting for dinner to speak with our host. Charlie, I'm sorry. And Lonit employees are professionals, yes? So start acting like it. Great. Happy? You have a future, and now I don't. That man is a goddamn child, and somehow we all sink to his level. Hey guys.
Think it's okay if we pour some wine? God, please do. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Shouldn't we wait for him? Just poor Mark. Who doesn't show up to their own dinner party? None of you did anything to piss him off, did you? No, Dad. I haven't seen a soul here aside from the groundskeeper. He's probably cooking dinner himself. Ah, Mr. Dumet! I love what you've done with your hair. We started on the wine. Hope that's all right with Dumet? you. Dumet? Yeah, that dude ain't coming. Wait, what? why? He saw all the snide things you tweeted from his limo. I didn't. What are you talking about, Jamie? He got back aboard the ferry and left. What? When? Right after we got to our rooms. He just left. You're sure? Can't be. He must be mistaken. I'm not blind. I know what I saw. Why would he leave? That makes no sense. It was him and some girl. They were in a big ass hurry. Guess you were right. There was some kid here. I saw them together when I was looking for my room. Another perfect Charles Lonnet plan comes together. What's our next step, boss? Swim for shore? Why would he invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? I'm sure he has his reasons. Who knows what could have cropped up? Maybe he ordered pizza for dinner and the dock is as far as they deliver. This could work to our advantage. How? Well, think about it. We're still here, surrounded by perfect visuals. The plan is still on track. There has to be a legit reason he left. We shouldn't leave to conclusions. Guys, am I the only one who's getting really freaked out by this place? And by Mr. Dumet? As much as it pains me from the depths of my soul to say it, I'm starting to side with Jamie on this one. Thank you. Lower your voices. Why? He's not here. But that doesn't explain why he's ditched out on us. He had to go back to establish an alibi. What are you? You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side of the lake, he has plausible deniability. Uh, oh, God, Jamie. Jamie. Can you stop trying to make this worse? You're not helping. OK, fine. Just don't come crying to me if you end up dead. What is wrong with you? Just saying. Guess you never found your cigarettes. The bitch of it is, I did find a machine, but just like everything else in this fucking place, it's ancient and broken. So what are we doing? We just gonna sit here and pretend to eat? What's the plan, Charlie? The plan? In true lawn and entertainment fashion, we're going to sit with our thumbs in our asses until a panic deadline looms over us, and then we'll just throw some shit together and I'll save it with a voiceover. Wh well, here's to Topeka, no longer being the worst decision Charlie has ever made. <sighs> All right, enough. I'd like to propose a toast. It seems as if this may well be our last supper as a team, given how you've all been acting. Me and my apostles. <laughs> Just wait, give me a moment. I can't decide who the Judas is. I've got so many options. And of course you're the martyr. You're going to find out very soon that you won't get very far without being a team player, Kate. Enough Sunday school bullshit. Charlie, what's your problem now? You know, you don't always have to get a word in, Jamie. You do your best work when you're silent, trust me. Come on, Charlie, you want us to rally behind you. Stop treating us like crap. Are you kidding me? You were the best damn DP I've ever worked with until Kate got into your head and made you insecure and neurotic. That's not... You think you're too good for this, don't you? You think you're an artist? Fine. Go take some pretty pictures and see if that pays the bills. You can blame my mood on Erin. She lost my smokes. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Drink, bitches. <sighs> oh, fuck off, Charlie. 
You're the director. You're not God. You're not the king. We're not your royal subjects that must kiss your ass and cater to your whims. Kate. No, he needs to hear this. He doesn't give a single shit about our feelings, our careers, our needs. Fuck him. Fuck you. Ah! Oh, this is just priceless. Of course you're enjoying this. Enjoying watching Charlie lose all control of his precious plan? Yeah, maybe a little. Enough, Jamie. Dude, you've lost the right to tell us what to do. Look at where we are. Okay, cool. You're in control. So where did Demet go? We can shoot without him. We've all seen the place. Without a single word from Dumet, I have half a dozen setups we can roll on. So let's just do that. Then you're all free to bugger off in whatever manner you choose. Okay? This is a mess. This place is creepy. Dumet is a weirdo. And you're nuts to act like everything is normal, Charles. <laughs> hey, Mark. You want to follow Kate around like a lost dog, or should we start planning what gear to pull? There's good light in the lobby, minimal setup time. We can be good to go in 15. Then let's do it. At the very least, your sets are the most entertaining I've ever been on. You've always got something to say, haven't you? Yes. It's my superpower. <laughs> hmm. Mark is right. Light in there is good. Just need to set up a couple fills. Won't take long. Grand. Hello? Guys? Is that you? Damn it. Breakers. Where's the PA when you need one? Gotta be smarter than the chair, boss. Yeah, yeah. Where the hell is everyone? It's a two-person job to pull Kate away from her mirror. When we wrap, you should totally write a how-to book on managing a crew with grace and poise. Fuck off. Do your job. See? You already have the title. <coughs> what the hell?
Hey, hey, help! Well, somebody help me, I can't see a thing! I, I, guys, guys, please! Aaron? I, I, I can't get the door open! Get me out! Okay, we're right here. Calm down, Erin. It's all right. I... I... I can't... I can't breathe. You have a slow, deep breath. In and out. Erin? It's okay. We're right here. You're not hurt, are you? I... I need my inhaler. You having an asthma attack? What's your room number? I... Hurry! Hurry. Where's the room? Let's come on. Down the long hallway for you. Aaron, I'm going. Just try to breathe slow and easy. <laughs> We're here, Aaron. Just try to stay calm. Count your breath. One, two, three, in. One, two, three, out. We need to break through this thing. Guys! I... I... I can't... Go and look for something to knock this door down. Me and Mark will try and force it open. Who's there? Guys, guys, somebody is in here with, with me. Oh, God. Not here. Obviously. There's no one in here. Where is she? I don't, um... Aaron? Aaron! Then she found a way out. There must be a door or a hatch or something. Way out. It's a closet, Charlie. Ah. There you are. Poor Erin. Such a horrible death. She picked a bad time to find some bravery. Now, where's our wayward host, Mr. Dumet? Apparently, he's left the island. How very rude not to stay for dinner. Maybe if he had, things wouldn't have become so uncomfortable. Charlie certainly lost his cool. And if a team can't work together, they are unlikely to succeed. I can only observe, and it can be frustrating to watch. In some ways, I envy you. I only record events. You get to shape them. You'd better get back to things before one of our friends makes a poor choice on their own. Where the hell 
is she? She's got to be around here somewhere. She has to be. Yeah. I'm sure there's a simple explanation. This place is like a maze. She's just turned around somewhere and... And screaming her ass off? You all heard her. Something bad has happened. You don't know that. Bullshit. You just don't want to let the shoot go, Charles. I, on the other hand, have no problem with that. Something is very not right here. Let's just find Aaron and get the hell off this island. Everyone relax, okay? Just give me a second to think. Excuse you. <sighs> and exit stage left, our oh-so-confident and sure leader. What was that? <sighs> Charlie is thinking. She looks a lot like a temper tantrum. Maybe he's right. If we don't crush this episode, we're all screwed. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just I've saying. I've been waiting on you for ages to actually make a decision about something. Anything. And now this is when you suddenly choose to take a stand? So the show is more important than the fat Aaron is missing? No way, Mark. Come on. We find her and we leave. You're jumping to conclusions. Mark. I don't know what's made the two of you suddenly swap perspectives, but Kate is right. If the show goes down, we're all screwed. Yeah, don't care. I'm gonna find Aaron. Right. <sighs> Here's the plan. We've already got a plan. It's leaving. Just listen. <sighs> Look, let's just crack on with things. I'm gonna go and find Dumet and square everything with him. I'm thinking after standing us up for dinner, I can guilt him into doing an interview. So Aaron is on her own? She'll show up. Bravo, Charles. Your delusions make for such great plans. Demet left. I saw it, remember? Maybe he's back now. Maybe he's not. Would it kill you to think positively just once? I guess as far as Charlie ideas go, it's not the worst he's ever had. It's not even the worst idea I've had this evening. Don't go patting yourself on the back. I still think your priorities are fucked. Whatever. I'm going. I'm coming with you. We're gonna run around looking for Demet. Maybe we'll find Aaron, too. I don't care what he says. I'm done. I'm getting my shit together. Kate. I'm leaving, Mark. You coming or not? Yeah, absolutely. OK, genius. Where are we going to look first for Demet? I'm not looking for Dumet. I'm scouting for shots. If he pops up along the way, great. Jamie, over here. Okay, yeah, I'm freaking the fuck out. It's just blood. Just blood? Are you kidding me? You're jumping to conclusions. Or maybe this is from Aaron. Stop it. You always assume the worst. All we know is something was dragged along this way and it was bleeding. And that's not a cause for concern to you? All right, it's a little odd. Odd? What do you want me to say? Look, it's probably just Dumet or the groundskeeper dragging in some dead animal from outside. Maybe it's our dinner. Help. You hear that? <laughs> Please. Help. The fuck? Help me. Please. Please. Are you? I'll do anything. What happened? Are you okay? What the fuck? Stop! Look! What is this? It's a fucking booby trap. You shift your weight off that plate, and this guy is getting run through by that thing.
What's happening? What did I do? We need to get the fuck out of here. Now. Charlie. Huh? Let's go. Did... Did you see him? The mask? What the hell was that? Jesus. We're trapped. What do we do? Break the fucking door down. Right. On three. One, two, three. Uh, uh, uh. You hear that? Yes. What is happening? Find your spirit crystal? Don't do that. And don't make fun of me. Sorry. Wouldn't want you to cut yourself. The rock is sharp as hell and, you know, super magical. It's an amethyst crystal. It helps keep you calm by blanketing you in protective energy. I know. I remember. If you know, then don't call it a rock. Maybe I just feel like you should take responsibility of your own emotions and stop outsourcing the job to a crystal. It makes me feel better. Something you never seem to be able to do. Okay, maybe that was a shitty thing to say. I'm sorry. It's fine. This isn't a time or place to- I have to tell you something. <sighs> okay. Earlier, you brought up that DP job I blew off. I never told you the truth about it. About what? It wasn't a job, not really. What are you talking about? Remember my friend Murray? He was setting up a studio in Brooklyn, Fine Arts. He wanted a partner. <laughs> That's your dream. Yeah. There is exactly zero money to made, so I thought you'd tell me it was insane, rightfully. Because it would be. <sighs> but I mean, did you ever think maybe of chasing the dream first? I'm making it work practically second? Clearly not. I'm here, aren't I? Things are already starting to get tough for us. Oh, no, no, no. Don't put any of this on me. This is all you. I know. I turned it down because it would have taken me away from you. I guess I didn't even think of that. I... I just... Uh, what do you want me to say? Guess I was holding out for things to change with us. Deep down, I'm still hoping. Mark, I have never once shied away from telling you where my priorities were. All right. I get it. We better go. Wait. What's that? Is this somebody's idea of a fucking joke? How is this here? Did you bring this? No. Is it her? Yeah. Shelby. Matching nails? God, don't. We always got them done the same. That's him. What? That's him. The guy in the back. You know him? He kind of did. He was just one of those guys that was always around. We would be at some of the same parties, but that's it. It was my fault. You know that's not true. The night it happened, I was supposed to meet her. We were going to grab some drinks, go to a party. I slept through. It was a big deal on campus not to go out on your own. And Shelby waited for me when I didn't show, and that's when, they, that's when he got her. It's okay. It's not fucking okay. 
It can't be. I have to live with it every day and now someone knows. Someone wanted me to find this. What the hell is that? I have no idea. But I feel like it's bad. What the hell? Get over here, now! Charlie! <laughs> 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 I can't hold this. Listen, you have to get the fuck out any way you can. Just get the fuck out now! Uh, Jamie! Charlie! What the hell just happened? I, I don't know, but I think it's really, really bad. It isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. There has to be a way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. Let's get this open. Charlie, I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one swings out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, Jamie! Ah! Ah! <sighs> Charlie? Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Aaron? Keep it down. Where could she be? She can't have just vanished. Mark, come over here. What is going on? <laughs> are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. Yeah, not doing you hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? Somebody's in the restaurant. What's the plan, Charlie? You end up dead. Well, right enough. I'd like to propose a toast. It seems as if this may well be our last supper as a team. Given how you've all been acting. Me and my apostles. <laughs> Just wait. Give me a moment. I can't. Decide who the Judas is. What the fuck is this? I've got so many options. Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. This is beyond messed up. I don't know what Charlie's gotten us into, but if I see Dumet, I'm gonna fuck him up. You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. Watch out. Jamie, thank God. I'm so glad to see you guys. We have to get the hell out of here. What happened when the wall closed? Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. Demet? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know 
how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are you of the fucking lake, kidding me? Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies it up! Dead. 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 What was that? This. It's fake. A prop or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. Oh! Oh, it's real. It's fucking real. I told you this was all too much. Let's get out of here. It's locked. What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. <coughs> Dumet! You wanna play around? Get out here, right now. Let's fucking play! the Lord. It's real. This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. Oh, for fuck's sake. the Lord. What's he doing? Hey, hello! I'm here! Hello. Oh, my God. 
fun. Things are starting to heat up for our friends. Charlie's goose may be cooked. It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with, but I think Mark and Kate may be finding a way and learning some new things about each other. And how do we feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics? I think they're rather clever. Some of them look very realistic. I wonder where he sources the parts. It would only be fair at this stage to offer up a little hint to even the odds. What do you think? No? Well, I'm sorry I asked. You'd better get back to things. Best of luck. I... I could have saved them. It's Aaron. No way. Damn it. It's another trap. It's the only way out of here. So we're going to find out. Mark, give me a hand. I think we can bust through this thing. Three, two, one, go! Kate? What happened? <laughs> We'll get back to you. Stay there. Mark, here. Let's move the desk. <laughs> Hello? <clears throat> Mark? Jamie? Here. Kate. We're okay. We're okay. Oh, thank God. We found a key. Let's get out of here. Hear that? This way. See him? Guys, over here. <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit. Is this? We don't know what it is. I'll watch the door. You guys look around. Here! I found her! off one by one, isn't he? <sighs> what the fuck did he do to her? So, so sorry. Don't fucking touch me. Don't start pretending like you give a shit now. Let's focus on getting the hell out of here. You two can fight later. We need a plan. Forget his games, traps, all that bullshit. Think about the killers we've covered. There's always a weakness. Are you suggesting we invite him to tea and psychoanalyze? I'm suggesting we use our heads. We can make guesses all day, but if we die here, it won't matter. I'm not playing detective, I just want to survive. Playing detective is how we survive. We play his games, we'll lose. We need to outthink him. He's trying to pick us off one at a time. We need to stick together. Hang on. He could be listening to us right now. Where should we go? Back to the ferry. It left, remember? It's on my line, maybe we could reel it in. Maybe isn't good enough. The lighthouse. Maybe we can signal for help. There's police boats patrolling the lakes, right? All the way out here? Lighthouses are meant to be seen for miles. Are you shooting any of this? No one is gonna believe it without proof. You want me to record him trying to kill us? And the bodies? For the cops? Hear that? The walls are moving again. Kate, hang on. We need to stay close. Shit! Kate! Hang on! Ah! Ah!
What the hell? to be a killer. You ever been to the art museum downtown? They got this painting by a guy, I forget his name, famous painter. He did portraits of slaughtered cows hanging on hooks. You take a normal person to a slaughterhouse and they will puke their guts out. You make it into a painting and suddenly it's art. There's no difference between the two. Not really. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm right. You get it. I know you get it. You got to do something that matters. Make people feel something they've never felt before. Shatter the illusion that any of us are really in control. Think of the most profound thing you've ever done the most beautiful thing you've ever created. And I promise you, it's nothing compared to watching the life bleed out of someone. To see the fear in their eyes. To feel them pawing at you for release. To hear them pleading, begging. That moment when someone realizes they are at their end, that's when you Feel it. That's true art. That's what you have to be. An artist. A sculptor. An architect. I see the gleam in your eye, Agent Monday. You're not fooling me. Look! Ah. Oh. Look at you now, huh? Am I gonna be your first? Well, come on then, huh? I'm right here. This room is soundproof. You don't even have to wait for a plane to fly overhead. There you are. can feel good, huh? But the blade makes for such a prettier picture. Uh, you've got potential, Agent Monday. If you truly want to be an artist.
это? Shit! It's me! Get in here! Oh, thank God! What the hell is this? The mirror was two-way. It's totally a little pervert creeper room. Demet is watching us and sneaking around between the walls. Listen, I found out some new information. What? That guy on the ferry, that was not Dumet. That was Joseph Morello. He's a true crime writer. I found one of his books. How's he wrapped up in this? I don't know. Have you seen Mark? Not in person, but I spotted him on one of these monitors. Thank God. I was worried sick about him. But I also saw Dumet running around. Jesus, what is all of this? He's got video feeds, recording decks, a mixer big enough for countless mics. He's watching everything. It's more than that. He's got utilities running through here, hydraulics, electrics, everything. He can control the whole building from here. How far down does it go? This all connects. This is how he's getting around the house. Take a look at this. What is that? The guy we saw murdered. It was a setup? There was no groundskeeper. We well, saw a guy in a yellow jacket with her stuff. I guess that was Mr. Demet. Over here! 
Look at this. It's all his little tricks of moving walls and crap. Nothing in this shit box is real. He controls everything from here. It's a murder factory. You're right. We should use this against him. All right. What's your plan? Okay, look. He's in here, right? So we get him to go down this hall, and we trap him between these two moving walls. There's no other way out of there. He'd be stuck. Okay. But how do you make sure he goes down that hall to begin with? One of us is going to have to be bait. No, no way. It's too risky, Jamie. So is letting him run free. I'd say that's more dangerous. Come on. There's no second chances here. It's my plan. I'll be the bait. If you're sure, just... If it looks like it's going south, get the hell out of there. No argument here. You could use that as a weapon if need be. I'm gonna hang on to it. I'm more likely to need it. Okay. That's enough of a moment. Let's do this. Stick to the plan. Obviously. So how do we get out? Third floor must be a work in progress. Okay, be ready. You're gonna have to time it right to trap him and not me. All right. Here goes nothing. <sighs> What is it? A button. There's a reverse symbol on it. W what does it? Shit, no! Uh, Kay? 
I think, I think when I hit this thing, the wall will go the other way. Towards me, you mean? Yeah, this thing will kill me if I don't press it. Wait, I know. If I do press it, then you're the one that dies. Goddamn, do that! This is exactly what he wants. He's making you choose which one of us dies. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm not playing this game. I can't do this. I won't kill you. Jamie? I'm not doing it. I'm not playing this game. Tell everyone I chose this, Kate. And if you get the chance to fuck the meta up, do it. Promise me. I promise. No, oh, fuck. <laughs> Jamie! Thank you. Thank you. Survive, Kate. What an excruciating way to go. Jamie wouldn't press the button. She chose to spare Kate at the cost of her own life. Admirable. People can surprise you sometimes. It's a catchy tune, isn't it? Erin's Don't Be Scared song. Sadly, it didn't work. Meanwhile, Charlie has proved himself capable, surviving the furnace and every other obstacle. Who would have thought it? Perhaps you regret not taking me up on the offer of a hint earlier. Would you like one now? I see. You're on your own then. You should get back. I hope these chats are helpful. I certainly wouldn't want them to be intimidating. I'll be watching your progress, as always, watching very closely.
No! No! Get your fucking hands off me! Baby! Run! Stay away from me. Move your ass, Kate. Get up. Uh, I... I can't. It's not optional. He's coming. Let's go. Run. Don't stop. Are you okay? I'm in one piece. What are those things? Door at the far end. Run! Uh. Hurry the fuck up! Uh. Uh.
it. Yeah, fucking fetch. broken ribs. Charlie, I, I thought you were dead. I nearly was. I'm sorry for that. I, I thought... Uh. Oh, God. I'm so glad we're both alive. I, I nearly went up in flames. I know. We saw it. You saw it? On a monitor. The, the whole place is wired. Where are the others? Mark, are they, are they safe? Aaron is dead. What? Dumet killed her. Oh, Jesus Christ. What have I got us into here? Yeah. Her body was, uh, cut open, mutilated. Aaron, Jesus. We were all separated trying to get out. Dumet has the entire place rigged with traps. We followed right into his game. We have to get out of here. Get back to the ferry. Dumet disabled it. We all agreed we'd head for the lighthouse if we can't signal for help. I don't suppose there's any good news. Actually... <laughs> I never thought I'd say this again. Ah! <laughs> 
You hear that? What? I... Uh, whimpering. Is that... You think they're here? We need to find a way in. What if they didn't make it? One thing at a time. Let's get inside. Up 
Mark? He's all right. He's trying to get that bloody light going. Mark? Please tell me you can hear me. Mark? I thought I lost you. Jamie. He got her. I'm sorry. Oh my God. I can see them, all of you. He killed them. No talking. I said hands where I can see them. Thank God you're here. You have to help us. Until I know what's happening here, no one moves. The boat. Seriously, lady? This way. <gasps> this should work. Oh, it's not working. Starter cord. Ah, there. <clears throat> work, damn it. Hey, hey, Connie. Could you see a boy? Come on. Come on. <clears throat> Just work. Go. Thank you. 
made it. Thank God it's over. Not all of us. That song doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know what will. We have a non-stop block for your favorite classic rock after this break. No damn commercials. And there they were just in the middle of the flipping road, waving their hands and arms like a bunch of crazies. And where are you coming in from? Uh, Fort Wayne. Been driving since 3 a.m. Early start. Well, I was trying to get into the port by 8. Probably not going to make that now, am I? I'd say likely not. You know what? I think I'm going to see about that studio in Brooklyn. See if I can make it work. After this, starting over feels like a good idea. Yeah. Just promise me you'll tell me how it goes. Only if you promise to keep giving me unsolicited advice. Count on it. Need a smoke, buddy? <sighs> yeah. Actually, you know what? I'm trying to quit.
Here. All good things must come to an end, but how good was the end for our crew? Unfortunately, you lost a few of them. So rest in peace, Erin. The new girl surprised everyone with her courage, but now she's gone to the great audio suite in the sky. And Jamie, the plug's been pulled and the lights are out. I don't think rewiring the fuse is going to help this time around. What about those who survived? Has the experience changed them? Kate had a secret. She was traumatized by something that happened a long time ago, but she faced the thing she was most afraid of in the whole world and survived. Mark, had to stop waiting for people to tell him what to do. He had to make his own way in the world. And Charlie finally understood that leadership is more than ordering the team around. He had to treat them as equals and let them take the lead when the time was right. I'll tackle the paperwork in the morning. Can you find your own way out? It was, as always, enlightening. I have no doubt we'll meet again in the future. Farewell. The chain of events are still unclear at this point in time. What we can confirm is that a little after 7.30, a truck driver was flagged down to render aid. The police were called and quickly arrived on scene. The survivors are part of a film crew, Lonnet Entertainment, the team behind the Architects of Murder docuseries. Fuck, man. It seems like as though they got a little too close to their subject material. And some of them, sadly did not survive. Thankfully, their ordeal is now at an end. Holy shit. Remember how my video went viral? How could we forget? You bring it up every chance you get. Just listen to this. I got enough views to win a competition. What did you win? An all expense pay trip to an island resort for five. Now I'm interested. Yeah, Mr. Dumet says they're gonna send a limo and everything. This is gonna be so much fun.